Hi everyone, I hope you're all really well. This is Karen with Karen's USA Adventures and I wanted to do something different today and it's a hand video. <laughs> That's because I've got no makeup on and it's a Sunday and my hair's tied up. Um, and I wanted to come on here and for those of you that um, are aware, we actually run Enchanted Mysteries. And that is a mystery box company based here in the UK. And all the links are down in the description box. So if you already know, please forgive me. But if you don't know, we actually go across to Disneyland Paris and we do Disneyland Paris mystery boxes. We do Disneyland Paris pin boxes, as well as we do other Disney boxes, Harry Potter boxes, British boxes, um, chocolate boxes, candy boxes, you name it, we've got it on the website. And down in the description box below is the link to our website, because I know a lot of people are always a bit nervous about going onto a new website, and is that really the company? So that's all down in the description box down below. And I wanted to come on here because I wanted to show you the Disneyland Paris pins. Now, currently, we have got two mystery pin boxes on our website and they are £59 and £99 but very soon we're going to be launching some other pin boxes but um, those are the two that are currently available and today is Sunday and on Friday this week which is the 10th of December we're going across to Disneyland Paris it will be our last trip this year and we're going over there to curate our Disneyland pin boxes um, the Disneyland Paris boxes, we have two, the L'Amour de Paris and the Amour de Luxe de Paris, which are our main boxes. They are done bi-monthly, so every other month. And the reason for that is we need to be there for a longer length of time. And um, The last trip we were there was nine days to be able to curate everyone's boxes. Whereas the pin boxes we're able to go every month for because we only need two or three nights at a push to be able to curate everybody's box. So we're going across on Friday. Um, we'll get there sort of mid-afternoon, I think. Um, and we might have a look down at Disney Village. And then on Saturday, it's all the brand new pin releases. And we're very, very excited. So I'll put a little photo in here of the pins that are being released this Saturday. And so we're going across for that release. But even on the weeks that we're not there on the day pins are released, we're still able to um, get those pins. So this past week, we've had the Dalmatian release, which were beautiful. Um, and I've got some of those on the way to me as well. So super, super excited about that. Um, so yeah, so we go across and we're gonna have a day of getting everybody's uh, pins. And then, and then on the Sunday, we're going to do something really fun. And on the Facebook group, we're going to put, you choose our day. So we're going to ask you, you know, which park are we going to? Are we going to the studios or are we going to the main Disneyland park? You will choose. What shall we eat? You will choose. What shall we, we're gonna make it a lot of fun. So you'll be controlling us on the Sunday. <laughs> So be kind <laughs> and then we'll come home early on the Monday morning. So that is our plans for the next couple of days. So, yeah, we're, we're really super excited. But I wanted to come on here and I wanted to show you some of the pins because they are very different to Walt Disney World and Disneyland American pins. They're very different. All of the parks, all the countries have got different pins and they've also got different characters that are more popular in those parks. So for example, in Disneyland Paris, they don't currently have any Madame Mim or they don't have um, any figment pins, but they do have a lot of stitch pins, a lot of Aristocat pins, a lot of Cruella pins. And I'm gonna show you some of the most beautiful pins we've got. But just to give you a demonstration, I've done this. I put one of my pins, and I know it's, a, it, it, it's not on a backing card because this is off my board upstairs, and this is one of my Walt Disney World pins. And that is one of the Disneyland Paris pins. And yes, there are bigger pins than that, I know that. But in general, I tend to think that the Disneyland Paris pins are a lot bigger. Um, some won't be, I know, but I think generally the pins just seem a lot bigger. And yeah, it's it's restarted my pin obsession. Oh, dangerous business that, isn't it? So 
on here in front of me, I've got some here I'd like to show you. So if I move these ones across to the side. Um, so first of all, we've got the Animators Collection. Now, the Animators Collection was sold out for a while and then they brought them all back. Um, but this coming week, they've got some new ones, so I'm super excited. So these ones are all open edition pins. So you've got there. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see where I am on my watch. I'm trying not to get a, a glare on the pins because I don't want to have to take these out of the plastic, of course. So you've got Alice in Wonderland there. And with these being open edition pins, the open edition pins are very different to the open edition pins in the other countries in the sense that they actually sell out. So, you know, like in Walt Disney World, the pins don't actually sell out. In Paris, they do. It's, it, it's crazy. So the animated pins that they're releasing on Saturday, I'm sure by the end of Saturday night will have sold out, even though they're not limited edition pins. These ones are open edition pins. I'm trying so hard to get it in the... <laughs> Go on. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's figure out where the centre is. Ooh, there you go. So that's the centre, so that's where I've got to go. <laughs> it's a Sunday night. It's a Sunday night. So, Rapunzel there. The just beautiful Figaro at her feet, painting the sun. And the backing cards are so pretty. We've got... Tinkerbell here they're just so so pretty and what we actually do is when we go not only do we get the pins for everybody's orders but I always buy some extras because I never know when they're going to sell out of stock um, because the open edition ones they do they sell out and they didn't have any animators for such a long long time and then all of a sudden they had them in the in the stores so you've got Aurora there so I always make sure I've got spares so that when they sell out, I've still got them if it's somebody's preference. And what we do is we send, with every order we receive, we then send out a questionnaire. And the questionnaire asks you what your preferences are. So do you like princesses? Do you like, um, what are your favourite things? What are your favourite movies? Um, do you like new editions? If it's a new edition and it's not one of your preferences, would you still like one? Because it's a new pin. Tiana. Tiana pins are so rare, aren't they? It's beautiful, that one. Um, and there's a new question I've got on, my, on, on there as well. It's asking if you actually like jumbo pins. So there you can see it's actually Moana there with Pua. Um, because I am able to get jumbo pins sometimes as well and stitch so those are the animators so i hope that's given you an introduction so let's have a look what else we have last week we had last well last time i went we had the sorcerer mickey release now these are open edition these four and this one's a limited edition pin so look at that it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful you've got sorcerer mickey with the with the broom, the magic broom there, a two pin set. You've got the Sorcerer Mickey hats, which they still have in Disney Studios in Paris with the hat. We've got Sorcerer Mickey there folding his arms because he's done what he needs to do and he's quite happy and content with himself. <laughs> and then you've got him reading his book of spells and those are all open edition pins. But then I was so lucky, I was able to get some of the limited edition pins. Now, limited edition pins are very different to limited edition pins in America. And that is, first of all, there are a lot smaller limited edition. So this is a limited edition of just 400 pieces. I'll tell you how we go about getting those in a minute. But this was a surprise release while we were there. And this is a jumbo. And I was very fortunate to be there and to be able to get some. So on the back of the pin, that's the back. And if you can see just there, it actually tells you the number, the serial number. So that's number, I think it's 238, 238 of 400. 
which I think, ooh, let's go back in focus, ooh, which I think is so, so special. So that's the back of the pin and it's huge and it's beautiful. Ooh, there we go. And I was so lucky to be able to get some while I was there. And what normally happens with limited edition pins is we it's like it's a bit like a raffle in many ways you have to go on to a special site two days before the release and you try it's a bit like fastest finger first and you're trying desperately to get a ticket to be able to buy that pin if you're lucky enough to get a ticket what that means is you'll have a set time and you can actually go into the shop let's come in a bit closer you can actually go into the shop and you're able to buy two of all of the limited edition pins per person. That's it. So if you get a ticket, that's fantastic. But you can only get two. Which for us, obviously, is no good whatsoever. So then they then have the day before they have what's called a last chance. So as this one didn't go on to the website, it was... Um, uh, a surprise release but if it had there would have been 200 tickets up for grabs because you're allowed to buy two each what they then do is they do what's called a last chance and that's the day before and you go on there and they might for a, a release of this have like 30 last chance tickets and again it's fastest finger first to see if you can get one and that means that after everyone's gone through the queue to buy their pins who have got an official ticket not everyone's going to want two. A lot of people will just want one. They then, everybody then who's got a last chance ticket can go through and they can be allowed to buy just two or it might be five per pin. It just depends. Then when that's happened, it goes on open release. And so what we actually have to do is we stand in a queue and when it's our turn, we are allowed to go in and sometimes you can buy as many as you want. But other times, the majority of times you're allowed to buy two per person. So we go in and there's two of us there. So I'm at the till buying four as Phil's going back out again. Think revolving door situation. He's joining the queue again and I join him. And we go. <laughs> yeah, it can take about five, six hours to get limited edition pins. So um, they are so sought after there's such smaller quantities you know 700 anything like that but they are so, so small they're so sought after but I like to make sure where I can when I get your preferences that if I can physically if it goes with your preferences that I, I, I make sure that if I can I'll put you some uh, at least one if not more limited editions depending on what I've got that fit your preferences so let's have a look we're going to have a look at some other open edition ones now this was a small world release now there's a pin missing from this there was a stitch one as well um, but that has now completely sold out well all of them now have completely sold out occasionally we see the goofy one there in his gondola which is why i always make sure i get some extras but look at that backing card it's beautiful it's a lovely pin and just like um um, everywhere else in the world the pin prices have gone up this weekend um, yeah I think we call it the Cho Pack effect do we it's very naughty of me <laughs> we won't go into the politics of that I've got my opinions I'm sure you all have yours but look at that Chippendale Chippendale is really big in Paris as well look at that it's the UK with Chippendale from France so that's like a perfect pin for me um, so yeah I love that so that's the small world collection and what else have I got here another recent release they've had this is why I showed you the size of the pins and that was the haunted mansion release and there were three pins in this I mean look you you can see oh there you go you can see the difference in the size they're just so much bigger that's a smaller one I mean look at this stitch one it's it's colossal compared to you see it's, I'm, I'm just going everywhere on time <laughs> compared to that walt disney world one which way have i got to go is it that way that way that way there you go it is absolutely colossal in comparison and it's just an open edition pin but what's lovely about this one and i've got one that's not oh in its box because it's on my pin board right in front of me is with this one 
it actually illuminates at night so it's light reflective and then it glows over night time and yeah i love i love that and then that's the back of the pin itself they're just it's really heavy and that one's a pin on pin as well so just just utterly beautiful let's put that back up there right so you've got that one you've got the goofy one there with a the lantern so you can imagine him opening the door to you can't you <laughs> and then you've got chip and dale who in paris are called tick and tack tick tack with madame liotta dressed up it's just beautiful and these were all open edition pins but on the actual day stitch sold out um and again, I've got a lot of him to hand. And we've got uh, Tick and Tack and Goofy. So that's why I always get extras because I know that they're going to sell out. Right, next of all, Stitch. Stitch is a really big character. Woo! In Disneyland Paris, I've got some Stitch out my box. So we've got this, I love this one. That's just my weird sense of humor. Stick, Stitch and a bogey. <laughs> I just, they have so much fun with him. Dressed as a unicorn. And these are big pins. Then you've got him feeding scrump, crying like a baby with the bottle. There's so many stitch pins that pins they've got and they release new ones all the time. I think it's only this month they haven't bought any new ones out. So you've got Sorry there. Pulling his eyes down in, in horror, you know, what's what's happening, yeah. Sticking his tongue out. What else have we got here? He's been Elvis. And these are all open edition pins. But they're beautiful and they're just huge. Free hugs. Then we've got a double there, Stitch and Scrump. And those are two separate pins there. And then lastly, this one sells out really quickly whenever they've got it. It's the Tower of Terror um, stitch as the elevator conductor. And they sell out really quickly when they get those. So, yeah, I get those when I can as well. So those are some stitch pins. They then brought out Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And I've never seen... The dwarves are separate pins before and whoops, he's upside down, he'll get a headache. And I was absolutely so excited when I saw that. So first of all, you've got Snow White with her Prince Charming. Just really beautiful. Look at that backing card. You've got the cottage there. Just beautiful. You've got a beautiful one of Snow White. Look at that. And these are open edition pins. Beautiful. Then you've got the seven dwarves. So let's see if I can think of them all. So we've got Doc first of all. And Doc there has got his lantern, but that's just one solid pin. We've then got Bashful holding his pickaxe. Pick Is that it? So he can chop away at some diamonds. Just beautiful. We've then got Bashful. I think that's Bashful, isn't it? This one is lovely. It's dopey and his little um, lantern. Will he come off? His little lantern there is a dangler. It dangles, it moves. I mean, dopey pins. It's beautiful. You've got Grumpy. So you've got Grumpy there. You've got Happy. And then we've got Sneezy. I did it. They're just really, really beautiful, really beautiful pins. So you've got the whole set of those. Paris have also got a lot of mini pins and they're beautiful. This Disneyland Paris collection. So you've got one there with a holding a pin. Another one that's just really, really decorative. Um, I mean, these are all just examples. They've got so, so many more. Um, I just grabbed some out of um, the ones I have. Mulan there. I've got a, another close-up one of Mulan, I believe, to show you. They've got normal princess pins. 
So that's more like the regular size of Walt Disney World, I would have said. Whereas if you look at the comparison with the two pins, ooh, you can see the size difference is absolutely tremendous. It's huge, the size difference. Just absolutely beautiful cricket with Mulan there. These are open edition pins. They're just, you know, when they're really beautiful. And talking of size of pins, this was another new release. Look at the size of these. I need to compare it to something, don't I? I mean, okay. Look at the size of that. That's the new Mickey as a cowboy with a normal Walt Disney World pin. But these pins, they're huge. Look at that. It's beautiful. And that again is an open edition pin that's a new one and then they brought these out which is laughable because they brought it out the same time as the cowboy but for some reason they put chip and dale i.e tick attack on a happy halloween card but obviously that's not halloween that's sheriff so sometimes they do that and we we all stand there and pull our hair out going what and <laughs> it's like what they do what they do oh do we have so many pins so many pins They've also got things like, of course, they've got the Marvel Hotel there. So that's a Thor pin. We've got Captain Marvel pins. And, of course, there's the Hotel New York, which is now the Art of Marvel. And that's where the Marvel uh, Spider-Man themed hotel is. It's fantastic. So, so there's those. I have so many pins on here. I don't know where to start. A couple of new releases this week, well, the last time we were there, sorry, are from Encantado. So I don't know the characters' names because shamefully I haven't watched it yet. Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? We're here. So you've got this very pretty young lady, but I don't know her name. But I think this is Miguel. I could be wrong, but I'm sure this is Miguel on top of a leopard. So... That was another new release. What else have we got? We always have the classics. So we've got like, this was a new release. You've got Scrooge McDuck and Donald there. They're just beautiful. And then you've got Donald and Daisy. And you've got the three nephews. So they really love it. I was told those were going for a lot of money on um, some of the, the uh, trading sites, the nephews, because obviously the nephews are, are very rare pins as well. What else have we got? We've got Cinderella. Um, there is a Cinderella pin, but I've run out of her at the moment, so I'm going to get some more of those on Friday. So you've got the carriage. You've got uh, Jacques and Gus Gus. And you've got Lucifer, whose name nearly escaped me there. And the Cinderella as well. So, yeah, I've got to get some more of her. What else have we got? Lion King. They brought these out. We hadn't seen those before. So you've got the Lion King there with his... Um, oh, I don't know what you call it, around his neck. And there you've got Simba and Nala together. And these again are open edition pins. They have a lot of funny pins. So here we got Figaro in his dress. <laughs> I love that. And just a fabulous backing card as well. We've then got the Aristocats are very popular. They brought these back. We hadn't seen these ones for a long time. So you've got Marie there on a music sheet. You've got Thomas O'Malley, Duchess and the Three Kittens. Interesting fact, the Aristocats were one of my favourite movies as a child. And then you've got Toulouse Billows and Marie there, the kittens. These are open edition pins. Then I didn't get any more uh, Dalmatians out. So Dalmatians is another big theme they have there. So that's Lucky with his bowl. Just... They're just beautiful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then we've had, we've just come back from the Christmas pin release. And um, we were so lucky. 
so, so lucky and our friends helped us so that we were able to get as many of the Christmas pins as we did. We were so lucky. So these were limited edition of 500. And look at that. There's Chippendale and you've actually got Clarice. Now, Clarice is obviously a very rare character. You don't see her often. You don't get pins off from her often. Um, and so that everyone that was ordering the Christmas boxes, I was able to get a lot of those for everyone. And there's only 500 of those made. And again, I'll show you on the back of one of these. Let's take it off. And this is number 453. So let's see if I can get it in focus. Can you see there, it says 453. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. And we thought that that was the end of the Christmas pins when they brought these out. But it wasn't because they've had the Dalmatian ones um, this past weekend. And they, they are beautiful. Can't wait to be able to show you those. We've then got uh, Daisy and Donald. Just beautiful. And the theme with this one was it was floats. So it was all the parades. So those that aren't actually on the float, you can imagine them walking along with the parade. So that's Daisy and Donald. We have got Tinkerbell. She was one of the first to sell out on the first day. It's just a really pretty face she's got there. Um, Belle was the very, very first one to sell out. Um, yeah just lovely lovely face we've got this was so rare i was so excited about this this is jiminy cricket on his float and and jiminy pins it again you don't see those often do you and these are all pin on pins as well so um and then we've got a cinderella one let's straighten it up on its card so you've got, so you've got cinderella there on her float and then of course you've got mickey <laughs> And Minnie and Pluto and aren't they beautiful? Just really, really beautiful. So those were the Christmas limited edition pins. Oh my, I've, I've got a little tied pins in front of me. Beauty and the Beast is obviously incredibly popular. We've just found this. Um, the the rose it, under the glass dome. So that's a new one we found. Look at this chip chip and his chip cup blowing bubbles. I mean, look at that face. We've got the beast. We've got Gaston. These are open edition pins that I might have just stocked up on. Um, where's Belle? Shall we find, see if we can find a Belle? I'm sure I've got a Belle because Belle is in her blue dress. Halloween pins. And one of the questions on the preference sheet is I asked, do you like seasonal pins? So do you like Halloween? Do you like Christmas? I mean, look at that. They sold out. Um, what else sold out? You got Mickey. These pumpkin. These are open edition ones. What else have I got here? Oh, and I love this one. Sassy Daisy or what? Yeah, that's me on a broomstick. So you've got all different ones there as well. We've got villain pins. So if you love villains, I love villains. There are villain pins as well. So we've got things, pins that glow in the dark. So you've got Ursula there. It was Ursula, Hades. Who else did they do? Uh, Maleficent, Evil Queen and Dr. Facilier. I think were the five that they did. I don't know if I've got all five left currently. Whoops. Dr. Fis and these glow in the dark ones. Uh... Maleficent, glow in the dark. 
and I ask you on your questionnaire, do you like villains? And if so, which ones? Boy, I've got them all. So you've got the Evil Queen there. And these glow in the dark. We've got other villains. We've got, I'm not sure if they have those in Walt Disney World, but we found some of those. But then they've got all the actual villain pins from here. So you've got uh, Jafar, Captain Hook, Cruella. They did a fun thing. I think it was, was it July, August? They released Cruella summertime um, pins and they were dated. And I bought some and I've never sent them out because they forgot to put the stamp on the back of the pin. And so any time between, uh, I think it's January and March, we can take them back and we'll be swapping them for some ones that are actually marked limited edition pins. Can you believe it? We were like, Magnificent there. So just beautiful. Then talking of villains and jumbo villains, you can put on there if you like um, jumbo pins. So look at that, Hades. And that all glows in the dark. Pain and panic at the bottom there. They're just beautiful, aren't they? And which ones do they do it on? Yeah, this is, sometimes they do these things. It's really funny. They put the backing card a stitch. <laughs> so we're all like, what? <laughs> yeah, I think that was an error. But it doesn't matter, does it? So we got those. And these, these, they're just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. So that's that one. And these were a set of five. So you've got the evil queen there. She's the one that looks the most human out of all the pins. Um, and this glows at the back. Yeah, the other ones just seem um, brighter. She just seems more human. So who have we got here? Well, Ursula, I mean, look at that. So if you say to me you like jumbo pins and if I've got one that matches your, your style, then you'll get that in your box. See, pin on pin there. It's, be it's beautiful. Those lips and that face. Maleficent. Yeah, I was so shocked we were able to get some of these. So Maleficent. And obviously if you have a jumbo pin, then you have less pins in your box because it's all done on value. So we say at least five pins with your um, pins to parry, which is a 59 pound box. But if you have all open editions, if you don't like limited editions, unless they're one of your character choices, then you get more. Um, and at least eight pins with the bigger box which is the um plus pins de Paris. i love do you know i think he's my favorite i really think he's my favorite there's just something about him isn't <laughs> dr facilier so we got those then they also had a limited edition villains release um so here you've got um, Flotsam and Jetsam, is that right? From Little Mermaid, glow in the dark again. We have got Maleficent. And these are limited edition of 500. We've got the Apple. Dr. Facilier. He's really popular in Paris, Dr. Facilier. We've got, I love this as well, the hat with the feather. I just thought that was really, really beautiful. Just different, isn't it? Uh, what else we've got? We've got pain and panic. They're just really different pins. And this one, I mean, look at that. You have got the spinning wheel and you've got, oh, I've forgotten the crow's name. They're really rare, aren't they? That's like a double pin there. And then, and then, still more. 
still more i've got a limited edition box here i have got so many pins <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone <laughs> don't tell phil i keep telling him we've got none left <laughs> so oh i love these ones this was from valentine's day and i believe this was from 2020 but because they closed down they still had some left so they've got daisy and they've got donald there and what i love that is donald the way he's doing his hair that reminds me of my granddad in the 1920s when he used to grease his hair i just there's something really special about that and those are limited edition of 700 what other ones? We've got some Halloween ones. So we've got the Mickey ones there. And these were 700, LE 700. What else have we got here? We've got Daisy when she was an LE 500. Then there was also the Best of Friends range. And we were really shocked that we were able to get these. And these are limited edition of 700. So we've got Pooh and Piglet there. It's huge huge best friends love that and we've got tiana and charlotte i'm doing really well with these names don't you think <laughs> and we did have ratatouille and we did have mickey and pluto but they've all gone now so 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 that's just a little bit about the pins in paris but i love them i love the fact that they're just they're so big in comparison and the fact that they've got far smaller limited edition size. So, yeah. So, if you've never looked at the Paris pins, really seriously, have a look at them because they are beautiful. As I say, if anyone would like to order one of the pin boxes, please make sure you've ordered it before Thursday night your time. Because we're leaving here at Friday and um, I need to prepare everything. And if you've had boxes off us before, I need to make sure I know which pins you've had before. And uh, so I don't get any duplicates for you. But we're super excited because this week it's the new animator release. And it's also um, Aladdin. Oh, I'm so excited about these genie pins. So, yeah. So wish us luck when we're trying to get tickets for that this Thursday and Friday. Because we will be queuing for about five hours at least on Saturday. But I hope that's helped. Thank you so much for watching. Go down to the description box below. It's just down here. Go down there. And if you click on the website or onto the Facebook or the Instagram group, then you'll always be kept in the loop and you'll know all the different things that happen. Every month, uh, the cutoff date is the 10th of the month. And on the 11th of the month, we put new boxes up because um, we like to put different things up and uh, change different things around. But thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button so you know when I put some more videos up. I need to start doing regular pin videos so you can see all the beautiful pins. But thank you so much for watching. Be good, be kind, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you really soon. Bye for now. Bye.